I put this video together to showcase the impact Sage's ice wall can have if you have the opportunity to save it for the late game. Three separate instances of a C defusal where I have my ice wall still and I was able to block off the remaining enemy. Which gave us enough time yeah, to get the diffuse. Rip it open. Just cover so if you have a teammate that's able to cover the wall, they expend their ammo breaking the wall. Your teammate hopefully covers you, and you have enough time to get the diffuse. Here's a second instance where I save my ice wall for the end game just in case, and we're able to do the exact same thing. So, you get a nice little pick there at garage window. Take out that fella, and we're making our way over. Now, oftentimes you'll be using Sage's Ice Wall to prevent, uh, say, a push from an aggressive attacking team early on. But if you do have the opportunity to save it, you can pull this off. Almost an identical scenario. This time, uh, my teammate was able to kill them as soon as they open up the wall. But the, the ice wall has a lot of HP. And it's just able to buy you so much time to pull off that, that, uh, that defusal. And same spot, guys. Ice it off. Get the defuse. Nothing they can do. This time, they have two... Two teammates left, and still able to get that defuse. Now you're not being able to do it every time, but it works out pretty well when you can pull it off. 